name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, as missionaries of the precious blood, we join with one of our sisters' community, the adorers of the brother of Christ, and join with them in celebrating their foundress to date, St. Maria de Matias. I will share a little more about her life and the homily, uh, but just a little bit about their community. They're community of sisters that are worldwide. Um, they have sisters here in the U.S. in about three pockets. Uh, there's a group in Columbia, Pennsylvania, uh, a group of them in Ruma, Illinois, near uh, St. Louis, and a group of uh, in Wichita, Kansas. As they give witness to the blood of Christ, we too are called to give that witness. Those times our lives are not a witness to the blood of Christ, we seek the Lord's mercy. Your life gives, uh, your blood gives us life, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You provide for us along the path of life, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Your love for us is without end, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, most holy, who in your loving plan adored St. Maria de Matias with exceptional gifts of grace, so in the church she might be a witness to the blood of Christ. Grant that through her intercession we may faithfully adore the Lamb without blemish, who died and rose for us, celebrate with thanksgiving the new and eternal covenant in his blood, and with zeal proclaim all to all peoples the power of the love of Christ crucified. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And since we are celebrating the feast of St. Maria de Matias, the readings today will be different from those in your missals. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, thus says the Lord, you will be holy because I am holy. If you invoke as Father him who judges impartially according to each one's works, conduct yourselves with reverence during this time of your sojourning, realizing that you were ransomed from your futile conduct handed on by your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a spotless, unblemished lamb. He was known before the foundation of the world, but revealed in the final time for you, who through him believed in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. The word of the Lord. Our response, Lord, give us the joy of proclaiming your word. Lord, give us the joy of proclaiming your word. O oh God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my full soul thirsts. Like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. Lord, give us the joy of proclaiming your word. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. Lord, give us the joy of proclaiming your word. 
Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet, shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips shall I praise you. Lord, give us the joy of proclaiming your word. I will remember you upon my couch, and through the night watches I will meditate on you. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. Lord, give us the joy of proclaiming your word. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. Lord, give us the joy of proclaiming your word. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Tell us, Mary, what did you see along the way? The tomb of the living Christ, the glory of Christ risen. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. She ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. Mary sat outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I do not know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you had carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, in Hebrew, Raboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to thee, the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as the missionaries of the precious blood, we join with the adorers of the precious blood in celebrating the founders, St. Maria de Matias. St. Maria de Matias was born in a small town, out, small town outside of Rome called Acuto, Italy. And she was born on this date, February 4th of 1805. She grew up, I understand, as had a devotion to the Paschal Lamb. And later in her life, as she drew devotion to the Paschal Lamb, she heard St. Gaspar, our founder, preaching a mission in the, ta in the town, and it's from her, the preaching of St. Gaspar that she also develops a devotion to the precious blood of Christ. 
Christ. She was a woman that lived a life of charity. She grew up and she was not taught to read or to write, but she taught herself to read and to write. And after she taught herself, she taught other women to do the same, to read and to write. Her life was a life of charity. And I think on this day, as we come out of winter storm, as we look to the example of St. Mary de Matias, I think we're also called to be people of charity, to reach our hands out to those in need, to our neighbor. The adorers of the brother of Christ and their ministry continue to do that today. As we journey this day, we look for opportunities to share charity towards God and also journey to share, look for opportunities to share that same charity with each other. God always listens to the prayers of those who call on him in faith. Let us turn to God fully as we bring him our prayers and those of our world. For our Holy Father, for bishops, priests, and religious, Make the Lord continue to bless and uphold them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all nations and peoples of the world, may the Prince of Peace lead them to his light and his salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who struggle with mental illness, may the Lord in his goodness bring them support and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For this community of faith, may the Holy Spirit help us recognize the gifts we have been given and empower us in bearing good fruit. Let us pray to the Lord. For the adorers of the blood of Christ who celebrate this feast day, in thanksgiving for their ministry and that they may be strengthened in the call to live lives of charity, let us pray to the Lord. For the safety of all travelers in this winter season, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, that they may find rest and sincerity with the saints in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. And for Octavio Flores Resendez, let us pray to the Lord. God of everlasting mercy, hear their prayers of your people and tend to the needs we place before you according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For the earth it is to receive the bread we offer you. For the earth and work its clean hands have become for us the bread of life.
Bless me, you Lord God of all creation, for in your goodness we seek the wine to offer you through the vine and work that you may have to become for us a spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let the dew of your spirit, O Lord, descend upon these gifts that we devoutly offer you on the feast of St. Levi Matthias, and grant that purified by the blood of the Lamb, like her, we may be consumed by apostolic love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just your duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. You, Father, are the source of life and the font of holiness. In your providential love, you chose St. Maria Matthias and adored her with the gifts of the Spirit, so that in the Church she might be a herald of the light of the divine work a messenger of reconciliation and peace, a fearless witness to the glory of the precious blood of Christ and of solid glory of the cross. In her, her life, you offered us a sign of your love for the poor, for sinners, for exiles, and the excluded. Her example encourages us to travel to the highways of the world, directing our steps toward you, so with all the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and be glorified, O God, who love the human race and will always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when it's once for the disciples so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim to you this Easter and protest your resurrection until you come. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of, the, of Christ your Son, our Savior, who 
who led to his passion and death on the cross through the glory of the resurrection, and whom you seated at your right hand, who proclaimed the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and chalice of blessing. Look with favor and oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ has been handed on to us. We grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and for a day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead, whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, Saint Maria de Matias, Saint Gaspar del Buffalo, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours now and forever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. May the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace to leave you, my peace will give you. Look not our sins upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. We 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. May the body and blood of Christ, which we have joyfully received on the feast day of St. Mary Matthias, sustain us as we journey toward the heavenly homeland, so that our lives may become an unending hymn of praise, an everlasting thanksgiving offering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. <laughs>